The Alchemist Cookbook is a horror film directed by Joel Petrikas. The film was released on the 7th of October 2016 in New York City. The film stars Ty Hickson as Sean and Amari Cheatham as Cortez. The film was produced by Oscilloscope Laboratories and by producers Andrew D. Corkin, Brian Reisberg, and Ashley Young. Sean is an outcast who isolates himself from society to practice alchemy, Akko. Impanied by only his cat, as his mental condition deteriorates, the line of what is real and what is not becomes blurred, and as his chemistry turns to black magic, he instead summons a demon. The film breaks the conventional boundaries of genre, as elements of a black comedy, horror and a psychological thriller are all incorporated and intertwined. The Alchemist cookbook was released on an alternate. E. Raw organs of the dead possum. He realizes that his cat is missing and goes out to search for it. Calling for Caspar, his voice begins to sound like the howls of the demon. Sean takes his bag and a large rock and submerges himself in the lake. A little later he emerges from the water and, initially ecstatic, exclaims that he has defeated the demon. His triumph is short-lived as he hears the whimper of his cat and the howl of the demon in the forest. Cast. The cast only contains two human characters starring Ty Hickson as Sean and Amari Cheatham as Cortez. Other notable characters include the cat Caspar and a possum. The cast is notable as it consists of only African-American actors, a conscious choice to take the white people out of the movie by the director Joel Petrikas. Production Pre-Production Petrikas' inspiration for the film came after seeing an old friend who didn't recognize him. Confused after his old friend didn't react after calling out to him, Petrikas thought he may just be a doppelganger. This gave him the idea for a film with a doppelganger who lived out in the woods. This initial idea eventually evolved into the script for the film of a weird guy in the woods practicing Al. Chemi, Petrikas admitted the film was inspired by the movie The Evil Dead, a film which Petrikas idolized throughout high school. Other influences and inspirations for the film include Jim Jarmusch and films by Michael Haneek. Petrikas listened to Come on Pilgrim by the Pixies during production of the film, and Sean even quotes some lyrics in the movie production. The film was produced by Oscilloscope Laboratories. The Alchemist Cookbook was Petrikas' third film after Ape and Buzzard, and the first in the genre of horror. The film was the first film in which Joel Petrikas cast professional actors as opposed to non-actors who Petrikas knew. On the first day of filming, prior to first meeting Ty Hickson, Petrikas was very nervous, and after taking an anxiety, pill he passed out. Ty Hickson and Amari Cheatham were initially unfamiliar with Petrikas' directing style, and so this took some period of adjustment. Petrikas was able to give the pair the freedom to improvise and incorporate their own elements without always sticking to the script. The film was shot exclusively in the forests of West Michigan's Allegan County. This provided a challenge for all in. Involved as there was a lot of ticks. The alchemy book used by Sean was made by Petrikas specifically for the film. The title of the film and book is a reference to The Anarchist Cookbook, a book which is basically an instruction manual for committing crimes. Petrikas describes this reference as giving the middle finger to society, themes. The film examines the theme of mental health and its role in society. Tom Keough of the Seattle Times says that there are obvious signs of mental illness in his behavior. Petrikas explores this through the voices, shapes and sounds in the forest which visually suggest the tangled shadows in Sean's head. There has been much debate if what the viewer sees in the film is real or if it is just a reflection Sean's tortured mental state. This is the intention of the director Joel Petrikas to keep the film intentionally ambiguous to encourage thinking on the viewer's behalf. Petrikas further leans into this by disrupting the concept of time and space, removing the conventional ties to reality. The eccentric and erratic behavior of the protagonist, Sean, emphasized the mental turmoil and cause. E-release strategy as a pay-what-you-want film in both theaters and on BitTorrent Bundle. The film was an official selection at the 2016 South by Southwest Film Festival plot. The film to venture into the realm of a psychological horror. Furthermore, Petrikas explores the causes and the way that mental health is treated by society stating that it is difficult to know what an individual may be escaping from in life. Cinematic style. The film has an unusual structure, broken up into eight chapters with the director Joel Petrikas, describing the different sections of the film like pieces of a puzzle put together by the audience. Petrikas kept the film intentionally cryptic so that the viewer could form their own interpretation. The viewer is never quite sure what is real or just in the head of Sean. This separation into chapters G.I conveys the film a disjointed feel in regard to its scenes and dialogue, and makes it near plotless. 
Patricus incorporates elements of horror and comedy to surprise the viewer and elicit different reactions from each individual viewer. The color of the film is predominantly brown, red, and gold, which is supported by the setting of Michigan Forest. Patricus set specific rules for the filming the film saw. Ying, if the characters are moving, the camera is moving. If the characters are not moving, the camera is not moving. This gives the viewer the feeling that they are there with the character, immersing them in the scene. The film features a vague grumbling sound from the forest at various stages of the movie. This builds the feeling of unease throughout the film for the viewer. The film is set in a non-specific time period with the characters not having access to modern technology. The film employs modern horror techniques such as speed ramping and frame skipping, which build the tension in the style of a modern horror. Music the soundtrack is very diverse featuring opera music, music from Detroit-based rapper Isham and punk pop band The Smoking Popes as well as Beethoven. Patricus uses the lyrics and the music in the opening scene to give the viewer an overview on Sean's background. Release. The film premiered in March 2016 at the South by Southwest Film Festival. The film was then featured at various independent film festivals around the whole world throughout 2016, including at BAM CinemaFest in New York. The film was then officially released in New York and on online on BitTorrent Bundle on the 7th of October. The film was released on an alternate pay-what-you-want strategy, view. Ers were instructed to pay what they thought the film was worth. This is part of Joel Petrykas' vision that all films and art should be pay-what-you-want due to its subjectivity. Critical Response the critical response to the film from critics was generally positive. On Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 80% based on 20 reviews. Ty Hickson received widespread praise for his role in the film. Brooklyn Magazine said Hickson's largely silent performance is superb, and Variety commended Hickson for an irresistible performance. Critics also commented on the elements of comedy. In the film, especially by Amari Cheatham, who was described as hilarious, not all reviews were positive. Todd Jorgensen from Cinemalog.com commented that the film's ambiguity with regard to key details becomes frustrating, and Spanish magazine Cinelipsis described the film as a complete waste of a horror movie, and that nothing justifies whatever it was the director tried to do here. Sean lives in a caravan in a forest, accompanied only by his cat, Caspar. Sean's simple lifestyle is centered on experimenting with various chemicals and substances according to an old alchemy book, with seemingly no success, though there are mysterious sounds from the forest. Sean runs out of the pills he regularly takes. He becomes increasingly nervous about being watched and locks himself in tea. He caravan with an axe. He receives a visitor, but it is only his friend Cortez, who has come to deliver supplies. The resupply of Sean's pills cannot be found. Cortez refuses to make another three-hour round trip to retrieve them from his home. Without his pills, Sean's mental stability deteriorates, and he grows increasingly paranoid and frightened of his surroundings. After unsuccessful experiments with a dead mouse, he sets animal traps in the forest. He goes out onto the lake on his rowboat, where he proclaims that he intends to summon a demon that night, which he will give whatever it wants, including his body and teeth. Sean's trap catches a possum, which he takes home and feeds. That night he makes a fire and calls out to Belial, saying he repents his human form and reads Latin from his book of alchemy. Upon hearing loud bellowing sounds from the forest, he rushes back inside. He lights dozens of candles and continues reading from his book. The possum makes strange sounds before Sean kills it with a knife. Cortez arrives and is shocked at the dead possum and the state of the cabin. However, he is on the run and intends to stay with Sean for a time. Sean is agitated by this and tells him to leave, threatening Cortez with his knife. Cortez leaves, feeling betrayed. Later Sean finds Cortez's car in the forest destroyed, Cortez's cross necklace, and a tooth embedded in a tree carved with the words P.A. Why up? That night Sean is burning his papers on alchemy when Cortez stumbles over, covered in blood and eyes glowing. Switching between awareness and fear of his situation to speaking in a deep, warped voice, he tells Sean of the devil in the forest which feels owed all that Sean owns. The next day, Sean finds Cortez's dead body and buries him. Later, in his cabin, Sean extracts his own teeth with pliers. That night, he calls out to the demon, telling it he has his tooth. A loud bellowing answers. Later, Sean sits in his cabin covered in blood. Crying, shaking, and seemingly insane, he smashes his head into a mirror until it shatters, drinks chemicals from test tubes, and eats th. 